Hi, this is Kendra at Pencil and Pigment, and today we're going to talk about self care and we're going to talk about your hands. Your hands do a lot of things for you depending on what um, art you go into. If you are a sculptor, an illustrator, an animator, if you're a graphic designer, any of those things that require you to use your hands, you need to protect them. And there are many different ways to do so, and I am going to talk about them. The first one is going to be gloves. Protect your hands from chemicals. There is cadmium in paint. There's cobalt in paint. There is a bunch of bad ingredients in paint that is bad for your skin to ingest. If you are handling heavier dutier things or do a lot of dishes around the house to keep your home while you are creating. Protect your hands from excessive water. Keeps them from cracking and drying out. Cold weather. These are cold weather mittens. They have a little bit of a grip here. If you are prone to arthritis or general hand cramps or pains, I would highly recommend in cold weather that you get some form of mitten. These are fingerless, so you can still use your fingers and keep your, the bulk of your hand warm. Two different styles. Snow. <laughs> I don't know if you're into ice sculpture, but if you're having a relaxing day at the snow, take care and protect your hands from frostbite. If you have outdoor hobbies like gardening, protect your hands. Make sure you're up on your tetanus shot. There is a lot of rust in the soil. Protect your hands from thorns and prickles. Work gloves. <clears throat> if you like doing woodworking or heavier duty work outside, if that type of sculpture sculpture is your your jam, get a heavier glove. I want to talk about the products we put on our hands. Make sure you are using a mild soap. This one is uh, Kiss My Face Olive Oil. I've been told by my children it doesn't smell the best, but it's very soft. And if you have a skin sensitivity, it's very gentle. I will link to a webpage where they rate soaps based on their ingredients and how healthy it is for your skin to ingest. So I'll link that down below. Moisturize. After every time you wash your hands, moisturize. Take care of your hands and they will take care of you and your career. These are some of the more gentler ones we own. I would say this is the attitude and it comes in a variety of scents. This one sort of smells like a cucumber, but this one is a everyday lightweight. And I would say this is a before bed or after heavy labor salve. It is definitely greasier and heavy on beeswax but it feels awesome and it's very very gentle and because we have such heavy duty skin sensitivities in our house I can say that these two work just fine yep on your hands put sunblock on your hands there's two different types of sunblock there is mineral and there's chemical so mineral sits on top of your skin and works as like a shield and works instantly to keep the UV rays from going into your skin. Chemical goes into your skin to protect. It takes like 20 minutes to work. The mineral has uh, it's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And if you have skin sensitivity, I would try this one over the chemical. The chemical one has the um, oxybenzone, octraline, 
avobenzone. You know what I'm talking about. I call them all the octos. Basically those go inside your skin to protect. And <clears throat> there should be more warning labels on those just because some of the ingredients go into your bloodstream and can become toxic after over a day of use. So we use, this is Banana Boat Kids 50. This is a great one in protecting. Give yourself hand massages. Be gentle to yourself. Protect your skin. Protect your hands. They have to last you your entire lifetime. There are drawing shields. There are archery shields. There are tons of different types of shields and things you can use. Now, if you suffer from arthritis, there are diets you can use, create that help alleviate some of that pain, like avoiding chicken and dairy, I believe beer, and then there's inflammation diets that help reduce some of that if you're experiencing hand cramps. But take care of your hands and they will last you your entire life and you can keep creating for as long as possible. All right, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.